My name is Dr. Sarah Holper. I'm a consultant neurologist at the Royal Melbourne Hospital. So today I'll be talking about dementia, which is a big problem in Australia. We know, for example, that there are over 400,000 people living with dementia in Australia. Dementia isn't a specific disease. It's a term that we use to describe a progressive loss in the ability to remember, to think and to problem solve. And it gets worse with time and affects the way that you go about your daily life. Your brain is about the size of two of your fists held together and it contains over 80 billion nerve cells. And everything that you do, so talking, walking, watching and listening to me, and everything that makes you you, so your personality, your behaviour, your emotions, they all happen because those nerve cells are communicating with one another in a coordinated fashion. In dementia, those nerve cells break down and they stop communicating normally, and that's why the person experiences symptoms. Dementia isn't a normal part of ageing, but it is more common in people over the age of 65. It's caused by physical damage to nerve cells in the brain, which causes symptoms. Just like different diseases can cause, say, a cough, different diseases can cause dementia. So Alzheimer's disease, for example, accounts for about two thirds of cases, but other causes include dementia with Lewy bodies, frontotemporal dementia, and vascular dementia. Often we find that people with dementia have a mixture of those diseases if we were to look at their brain under the microscope. I'm uh, Professor Dennis Valakoulis, uh, Neuropsychiatry Centre, Royal Melbourne Hospital. Young onset dementia is usually defined as a dementia that begins before the age of 65. We tend to see people who have been referred to us by neurologists or psychiatrists, often with a background of mental health issues, often with a background of behaviour or, or change in their function, rather than with the specific um, question of is it a dementia. So that uh, diagnosis of young onset dementia is usually much harder than it is in the more elderly people, where people will go to the doctor with memory problems, for example. A person will experience different symptoms depending on what area of the brain is damaged and no two people will experience dementia in the same way. Some of the more common symptoms include things like um, short-term memory loss, which can result in repetitive questions and conversations, um, easily getting lost in familiar environments, trouble following uh, multi-stage commands. So for example, being able to follow a recipe to bake a cake. Some people can find it difficult to find the right word or to even understand what certain words mean. And there can also be changes in personality and behaviour. So becoming quite withdrawn and abandoning hobbies can occur, as well as changes in personality. For example, becoming less inhibited and perhaps becoming overly familiar with strangers. In the younger onset group, most of the people who go to the doctors have usually gone with mental health issues or changes in their personality, changes in their, their functioning at, at work or home. So in younger people, the average time from the first onset of any symptoms to a diagnosis is about three to four years. Now that's clearly three to four years too long. Uh, and during that time, there can be a lot of you know, difficulties, collateral damage, if you like, that occurs because no one suspects this younger person who may be 40 or 50 is developing dementia their symptoms more often are attributed to stress or personal relationship problems or alcohol or depression etc and by the time the diagnosis is made a person may have lost their job lost their family etc so it's hugely important to make the diagnosis as early as possible 